Welcome back to some more Pirates of Darkwater, and today we are going on board the Maelstrom, which is Bluff's pirate ship, and it's huge and, well, creepy looking. If you haven't seen the series, it's partially made of bones, and it has evil tentacle-like demon monsters in, it, in its hulls, and, well, all sorts of crazy shit. And we're going with Ios for this one. I noticed there's a slight difference in attack power. Tula is actually weaker than... Well, Ren. Iles, Iles is a little stronger than Ren, but Tula is faster. But Iles is a little slower, so... We're going with Iles for this one. See how far we do. Yeah, see? Bones. How many treasure do we have? Five. Yes, five. There's only one more to find in this game, apparently. That's even less than the series. The series had eight of them. The game has six. That's kind of weird. Oh, well. Let's go, go. Oh, you can stand there. That's good to know. I can go up here. Oh, choices. Yeah, that's those, those are those demon-like things. From the... Uh, from the series, too. They are pretty mean. They're called... Well, it's only part of a, of a creature. The large creature is called a constrictor. It's... Yeah, a giant worm demon composed of other <laughs> worm demons that devours people. It's, well, it's pretty creepy for a show that's usually not that horrific. Go watch the series if you know what I'm, if one doesn't know what I'm talking about. It's a great series. I said it before. Do I have two keys now? I thought I saw that. Yeah, we have two of them, okay. Oh boy. How do we... Oh, you <laughs> it doesn't hurt you. That's... Yeah, lots of bones. This is a creepy stage. There's a Constrictor Worm again. I should call them something else, like Constrictor Junior or something. Holy shit. Oh, and, and, oh, there's stuff down there. Background is a bit confusing because I think that this hurts you. This is right here, but it's just background. It's not actual spikes. That's a bit mean. Well, I have some little food. Okay, this is a dead end. We'll go back. Not sure how long the game is. Well, this stage, obviously. And maybe one more. Oh, boy. Hmm, this way first. Not sure if you have to use the treasures for something in this game. In the series, they were used. Not gonna spoil for what, but they had a purpose. Yes, even the incomplete set of 13 still had a purpose. Like I said, they only found 8. And yes, they did have a, did have a purpose. Go watch the series if you want to know what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy will kill me. Yep. Oh no, the water did! That's sucky. Oh! Oh, that's dark water! Oh! I didn't see that. little herb. Game over. Well, I thought I could stand there, but I guess I can only stand on the not dark water. Oh, well, I didn't, don't mind the game over right now. I barely started the level, so... Let's get to it! Yeah, I'm taking the idol still. He deserves a second chance. So you can stand, you can stand on this stuff, but the darker stuff you cannot. Makes sense. Yeah, this kills you. Okay, good to know. It looked different than the traditional dark water from the last level, so I was like, oh, it can stand there. But no, you cannot stand there at all. What's down here? Oh, I went there, of course. I kind of expect a Dark Dweller to make an appearance in this game. Dark Dweller is the, well, the real bad guy of the series. He has two or three episodes, I think. He's a... Well, he's... He's a bad guy, but damn that he looks looked scary. He was kind of creepy for, for, a kid, for a kid series, if you... For my honest opinion, I screwed that up. 
Let's try again. Poke. Minga melon. I love how Nidlis has it in the series. He's just so so fruity. Minga melon. Love it. Nidler itself is just <laughs> just a weirdo. Yeah, this video is gonna be a commercial for watch the series. But no, I'm gonna stop now. You have enough reasons already to to watch it. I'm not gonna add more. So go away, go away, constrictor thing. Let's go over here. Okay, I think I died here last time, or close at least. Yeah, I died here because of the dark water. Was it up here? I forgot. Yeah, it was up here. Dark water sucks, so don't go in there. Oh, that does. Oh, never mind. The entire water, everything kills you here. I can't make that jump. Need Tula. So I hope it's not something important. Otherwise, I gotta do this level as Tula. Can't drop down there, so. Oh. And I can stand here! But I can't stand there! This is weird. Well, I'm going with Tula. Apparently need her up there. For that one jump. I really wanted to try out, or rather, use all characters equally. But the game sort of forces me to use Tula a lot. Not sure why. She's faster, she jumps further, she's just weaker. I always kill these in two hits, she takes forever to kill these. Three or four hits. But the swiftness makes up for it. You really have to be quick in this game. And distance is sometimes more important than power. So, I guess Tula is the best character for this game. Oddly enough. You'd think it would be Ren. Well, maybe he will if we can mend the broken sword. I still want to find that thing in the bridge, so... I will. But it will probably after the game is over. I'll search high and low till I find that thing. I have the password, so I can just start there. That'll help. Okay, so down, down here. Kill them. Yeah, three hits. One more than Ios. Can be annoying, but I don't think it will be that much of a problem. Oh, somehow didn't die there. Is it really a dead end? No, it's not a dead end. Oh, I think I went the wrong way in, in, in general there with Ios. So what's over here? Holy shit, choices. These levels are huge. Well, I'm dying, but there's a door. So let's go on here. Moving on. Boss or no? Oh, it's the deck. It's no boss. Just means more bad guys. Yay. Well, I know where to go from for the one, uh, one level up at least. Oh, I hate it when you throw someone, you appear again in the next guy, and you can't do anything. You always get hit. Like that. I died. Yeah, Tula is not really for the combat. I want the help. I want the help. Go away. It will disappear. Oh, I picked it up, thankfully. Oh. I'm going away. These are too much for Tula to handle. And that's a death. Oh, that'll help somewhat still. Okay, so this is a hole. I thought it was the way down, but no, it's a hole. Ooh. These will fall. Yep. I knew that! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's another thing. No, don't be spawned. You'll kill me. Freaking hell. Ah. Shit, shit, shit. I'm dying. Oh, food, thanks. Oh. Okay, let's try to delay this as much as possible. Oh, I messed it up. I'm gonna die. 
Do I have food? Yes, I do. No! Go away, guys. Okay, so a little more to the left. Yay! Phew. More halls. More halls. More bad guys. Potion. And the one up. I'm going down. Okay, I go. Back down here. Hmm, this is a kind of annoying level, but... The bridge one was still harder. What's over here? Oh, hey, storyteller again? Long ago, there were six treasures of rule, called so because of their magical powers against evil. The six kings of Mur, including the king primus of Octopon, sailed to the center of the Dark Dw A hey! Dark Dweller's Whirlpool with the protection of the treasures. They journeyed safely down the Dark Dweller's Cave. Each king located the special plinth, one placed in its treasure of rule. The six treasures formed a seal, a protective barrier of good. This was no easy task for the all six kings except for King Primus. All the kings were attacked and defeated in a manner by all manner of dark water creatures never seen before. Alone, King Primus placed this last seal and confronted the Dark Dweller. A long and hard battle ensued and the Dark Dweller was weakened. Sensing his weakness, the six seals joined together and formed a protective barrier. The Dark Dweller was imprisoned within his own cave where he would remain forever. However, an unexpected earthquake took place within the cave. Its effect was disastrous. A small drop of the dark water escaped through the barrier. The hole grew larger and larger until it was big enough for the dark water to send the dark water. Take the le dark water lakes to ravage the lands of Myr. Although it could not escape, the dark water could rule the world from deep within its cave. Now, only a hero carrying the six seals can defeat the Dark Dweller. He will be sealed in his cave again, and the land of Myrrh will return to its former glory. You must go now. Bloth has the final treasure of rule, and he is up on deck. Good luck on your quest. The love of King Primus will travel with you always. And a key. Pretty good story, though. So, the Dark Dweller is in this game! Hooray! Epic final boss coming up, probably next level. Kinda neat. Ooh, there's a treasure up there. If it's a one up, it's totally worth it. It's a heart, that's all so good. Let's go back down. Not taking chances here by jumping something in blindly in midair. Yo, 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 what's up down here, yo? Up down here? What am I saying? Okay. Oh, oh, dark water. Of course, there be dark water inside the, the millstream. Makes perfect sense, and I'm gonna drown. Oh crap! Let's go this way. Ooh, ooh, yoi. This will end badly. If I do get the game over and it's almost end of video anyway, then I'll just see you guys again. But might be nice if I could just finish it. Oh, key. Vortex. Key! Whoa. Load of keys. No, 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 no. You go away, sir. Let's go down here. Oh! Yay. Made it. In one piece. Get over here. Or not. Almost time. More stuff. Ecomancer, Ecomancer, Ecomancer. Food. And a key. Where does the key go? Oh. Shit, shit. I'm taking food and then I gotta stop. I don't wanna lose. Yeah, I gotta stop here. See you guys soon again when we hopefully find Bloth.